Bay. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know how this is going to feel. Let's see how it feels. I'm going to actually gear down. See how the punch is. Alright, we're like 38. Punch it. So there's our 88 millimeter massive pulley on our Odin supercharger. Four, first hit. Car feels stupid quick. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. Look, uh, we have my Mustang torn apart again. What are we doing? It is officially that day. We're gonna pull it down. We are going to be adding even more power to my built engine Odin supercharged 2019 Ford Mustang GT. Let's get rocking and rolling, man. Let's go. I will tell you, this is the first time that I'm ever doing a belt change uh, pulley swap on this car with this blower. And some blowers out there, the supercharger belt is on like on the outside of the, like the balancer down here. This one is towards the back, which has its pros. It's, it's less further away on the crank, which is good. Probably hard to tell back here. Let me get a flashlight. That back portion right there is actually what drives the supercharger. Now this one, the 88 is good for about 12 to 13 pounds of boost and that is rated on a stock engine configuration so that means stock exhaust now what happens is when you start to add things like headers free flowing you typically can lose psi you can lose boost so where that might be a 13 psi pulley we might actually have like 11 and a half to 12 nothing bad there you're still gaining power you just have a little bit less boost but today we are yes we're gonna pull it down to our grip tech Come on camera, 75 millimeter pulley. This is actually good for around 16 to 17 pounds of boost. I do have a 69 as well. The 69 is somewhere around like 20, 21 pounds or something like that. So I wanted a middle of the road on this pulley with this engine. This is a 5.2 block Gen 3 Coyote has Gen 3 Coyote crank. So we have a little bit more bore. We already did a video covering that. Click on the card above if you are interested in what this does compared to a regular Mustang GT in this configuration this blower that pulley and 93 pump gas with no boosting no additive very impressed that a car put down 744 where a regular mustang gt would typically only be around 700 so i'm excited to see what this is going to do think that when we pull it down to that we're definitely going to see 1000 but i don't want to run around the street with that kind of power all of the time i wanted something middle of the road and i think that this is it so the 69 is about four or five psi over this one and this is about four or five psi over what we are replacing look at the the texturing inside of this grip tech that's supposed to help prevent like belt slip look there we go that's a nice shot so you guys can see how that's going to grab like little teeth onto the belt and prevent belt slip there's the website you can go to for information to pick up your grip tech pulley or you can go to modernmuscleperformance.net they were actually the ones that sent this out to me because they supplied you know much of the rest of the blower stuff like that anyway they reached out said hey man you want to go faster so i said yes absolutely the odin this is a six rib now pay attention guys this is important what i'm about to share with you it's recommended for a 79 millimeter pulley and down you don't have to run these but we want consistent boost so i went ahead and purchased one and they are expensive but this is what would come with the eight rib this almost looks like it would actually house like a 10 rib i mean that pulley is humongous comes with a uh, billet bracket in the back a little spacer so this will fit a six rib or an eight rib. A lot of guys are going fast with just doing the upper pulleys and no heavy duty tensioners. But again, we want consistency, but let's get these side by side. Look at the big difference there. Yeah, they don't make a 10 rib for these yet. Hopefully VMP, if you're listening. So we got our factory 88 and we got the 75 and the 69 here on the far left. You can see the size difference between the two. I'm not going to bore you to death with the install guys, but uh, I do want to put this thing on the road in this same video. <laughs> that way it's not just a boring install. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's install some more power with Grip Tech and then hit the road and see how different it feels. I'm very excited, man. All right, here we go. Back in the Red Queen, we are officially pulling down. Very excited. Here we go. First start. 
track times is really what I want to see and that's going to be coming up very soon so make sure that you're subscribed and turn the notification bell on so you do not miss content but guys here we go first drive in our new pulley down setup I'm excited let's go hey all right that feels more punchy and just regular drive that's good that's a good sign regular drive mode these mustangs are kind of lazy so that's that's a good sign yes 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 you can hear the blower wide more and that's just like quarter throttle just getting up to speed this is good i like this just letting the tires come up to temperature a little bit since we just hopped in the car but uh, I was going to find a place to turn around. Let's go to track mode. And then I'm going to put it in uh, our S mode, which is like where Daryl does a lot of his tuning. His transmission tuning is just something special. But let's get turn around. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know how this is going to feel or it's going to react. We're going to S mode. Um, like before, with the power that we had, I... I didn't really think twice about like going around town in Florida because the car seemed to hook up pretty good and it, 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 to me it wasn't really scary, you know what I mean? So like 7800 horsepower or seven mid sevens or whatever we were at, but let's give it some gas now and uh, see how it feels. I'm gonna actually gear it down, see how the punch is. the chest feeling like in the driver's seat because you're holding on like you can feel it now Ooh, that's way way different than what we had before oh my goodness this i'm gonna get in trouble i can't even put my foot down comments before I'm gonna address it now am I throwing myself into the seat absolutely not this is a TPS blower the Odins tend to hit really hard I've been in high horsepower Whipple cars before they come in more they come in real strong on the top end the TVS the, the Odins come in more down low it's just it's TVS versus twin screw the TVS will hit harder down low it's Get a long straight away. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm going to change the brakes after this. It's, it's like I'm using all of it to slow this car down. That is. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy crap. I don't know if this is like 900 horsepower. It's probably right there at it. That's, that's, that's crazy. We're, 
we're definitely above 850. 100 percent that's stupid punch is so intense it's so like right now remember we have a little more displacement than a regular gen 3 coyote so like we said in the beginning of the video on a 88 the stock size pulley 88 pulley on a uh, odin supercharger on a gen 3 mustang they usually make around seven maybe 710 something like that for a healthy engine but we have more displacement so i think we're gaining like 30 or 40 maybe 45 horsepower over a regular mustang gt there's a road up here that has like really long straightaway we're gonna go explore very hot outside it's 90 degrees my ats are up we have a stretch of road here we should be able to stretch the legs just a little bit i don't want to lose the gopro on the outside of the car but all right I saw about a degree of knock. We got E85 in the tank and it tested E85 on the dock. So I'm not really sure why we had knock there. Um, and I don't have my RTD, the computer that I need to, to data log that. But, but what happens is um, it, that's fine if it pulls a degree of knock, but that's pulling timing away from the engine. So that last pull felt a little bit, you know, we are getting hot. I got 130 degrees uh, in blower temperature right now, and it's 90 degrees outside, so we're running pretty hot right now. So we're gonna call it quits, but this is, this is great. That feels intense. I didn't go with a 72 millimeter pulley, which might be like, might actually be the more popular choice, but I wanted to be kind of in the middle, like I said. I wanted uh, something about four or five PSI over the 88, but four or five PSI or so under the 69 pulley, that we have back in the garage, which we're gonna save for, you know, hurting feelings. I would say this is a mid to, this is a mid to high 800 horsepower car at this point. Will it be 900? I, I, I don't know, man, but it, it's fast. Almost scary how fast this car is. And I'm starting those pulls around 50 mile an hour, so I don't know what else to say. This feels good. This is, this is crazy. Still my 20 inch Velgans. They've got a, a 305, 35, 20, 555 R2, their new, uh, their new tire that's out back here, and it's still hooking up pretty good. I, I figured at this power level, they would be completely useless. I'm, I'm telling you, I will buy these tires again. If they're still holding, I mean, the, the car's not squirrely at all. It's straight as an arrow. And I'm, 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 I'm super impressed. They're way cheaper than, you know, the Toil R Triple R's, and they seem to be holding, in my opinion, better. Nitto, good job. Just want to throw that in there. Good job. Got to give credit to where it's due. Back in the garage, we're gonna close up this video, guys. I'm, I'm super impressed with the way the car feels. Substantially different over the '88. Um, powerhouse. That's all I can say. I can't even imagine what the '69 is gonna feel like. It's gonna be saucy. Leave your guesses below. Maybe some of you guys out there have Odins with regular five liter Mustang GTs with the 75 or maybe even 72 millimeter pulley. Actually, any pulley combination, if you have an Odin, let me know what you're making. If you've dyno tested it, also leave your track times. I'm generally curious, like what can we expect in the quarter mile with something like this like give me your details what are you doing what's what does the car make um again like i said you know we're still hooking up really good on these back uh, 20 inch wheels i can't even believe it at this point at this power level drop down below in the comment what kind of power are you making with your setup and what do your track times look like i'm generally curious so appreciate all of you guys out there watching take care have a great day god bless you and i'll see you in the next video stay safe goodbye